वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 1.24 इन प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम वी डिस्कस प्रॉब्लम 1.24 एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इज सिमिलर टू 1.25 द स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द लार्जेस्ट लोड पी दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड एट ए व्हेन टीटा इज 60 डिग्री नोइंग दैट द एवरेज शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इन 10 मिलीमीटर डायमीटर पिन एट बी मस्ट नॉट एक्सीड 120 मेगापास्कल एंड दैट एवरेज बेयरिंग स्ट्रेस in member a b and in bracket at b must not exceed 90 mega pascal so you can see this is the figure this is member a b where p load is applied this these two are the brackets and this is the pin the diameter of pin is given as 10 mm average shearing stress in this pin is 120 mega pascal and average bearing stress in this member a b as well as in these brackets is given as 90 mega pascal so you have to determine the maximum load p that can be applied at point a so let's start with the solution so if you look uh, uh, into this uh, diagram so you will see that this length is given as 750 mm and this length is also 750 mm and this roof will also attach so it will make an isosceles triangle so from geometry i will write it from geometry triangle abc triangle abc is an isosceles triangle i will draw it also this length b into bc is 750 mega millimeter so this length is 750 millimeter this is point b this is point c 750 millimeter and this length ab is again this is also 750 millimeter so this is point a 70 millimeter and this is the roof ac okay roof ac now you can see that uh, we have been given this angle is 60 degree so this angle will be this angle will be taken as 60 degree so remaining this tri this angle will be 120 degree and this theta will be this will be theta and this will be theta since this are isosceles triangle two sides are same so both theta will be same and you can see that uh, some of all angles 120 in a triangle is equal to 80 so theta plus theta is equal to 180 degree so 2 theta is equal to 180 minus 120 degree so theta will be equal 2 theta will be equal to 60 degree it means that one angle is 30 degree so this theta is equal to 30 degree i will change it this will be 30 degree and this will be also 30 degree okay so here you can see you have a point load of uh, p which is which we have to find so from this uh, isosceles triangle we came to know that this angle is 30 and this is also 30 okay now what we will do is that use joint a use joint a as free body diagram a as fbd which is free body diagram so at point a if this is the point a so you can see you have a load of p which is acting at point a this load is p and at point p you can see you have a force f ac so this force will be in this direction and the other force fab will be in this direction why because you can see due to this load this will go down and the uh, uh, load in wire will be like this but due to newton third law the rope exert a force on point a will be in this direction this is fac similarly fbc will be fab will be in this direction so we will draw it uh, fab will make uh, from here you can also see that fab fab is this force what makes it uh, it's making an angle of 
थर्टी डिग्री ओवर हेयर ओके थर्टी डिग्री विद वर्टिकल एक्सिस बिकॉज यू कैन सी इफ आई ड्रॉ वर्टिकल लाइन सो दिस इज सिक्सटी दिस इज नाइन्टी सो दिस विल बी ऑल्सो थर्टी डिग्री सो द एंगल बिटवीन ए एन पी पी एन एफ ए बी इज थर्टी डिग्री सो आई विल राइट इट इफ आई ड्रॉ दिस एंगल इज थर्टी डिग्री द एंगल बिटवीन पी एंड दिस लोड पी एंड दिस लोड एफ ए बी इज दिस वन दिस एंगल एंड दिस एंगल यू कैन सी दिस इज नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो थर्टी डिग्री क्लियर बिकॉज दिस इज थर्टी सो दिस विल बी ऑल्सो थर्टी डिग्री सो टोटल एंगल पी फॉर्म विद द ए सी विल बी इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री सो आई हैव टू ड्रॉ एफ ए एफ ए सी दिस इज एफ ए सी दिस इज एफ ए बी सो दिस टोटल एंगल इज वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री नाउ दिस इज द फ्री बाय डाइग्राम एट जॉइंट बी सो यूजिंग फोर्स ट्राइंगल मैथड्स यूजिंग फोर्स ट्राइंगल वी विल जॉइन इट बाई यूजिंग वैक्टर एडिशन सो इफ यू हैव एफ ए बी ओके सो इफ यू हैव एफ ए बी सो इफ यू ड्रॉ दिस लाइक दिस इज हॉरिजेंटल लाइन एंड इफ फॉर रेफरेंस एंड इफ यू ड्रॉ एफ ए बी इन दिस डायरेक्शन विच मेक्स थर्टी डिग्री विद द हॉरिजेंटल ओके सो दिस इज थर्टी दिस इज एफ ए बी एंड देन पी वर्टिकल लोड पी विल बी डाउनवर्ड ओके he will be downward let me correct it p is downward so p is downward and you you can see if you both add it or if you uh, the third uh, third one is fac so again horizontal line this is 90 so 120 will be this one okay so i will delete this point is 30 degree okay so this is this line is 120 degree 120 degree or you can also just draw it like this uh, let me do it again so that it be clear so this is the p force which is acting downward okay so p the angle between p and a is 30 degree fab is 30 degree so from here you can draw a 30 degree clear so this angle is 30 degree and this is fab and what will be the direction of fab fab will be in towards the p because you can see over here is it will be like this so third will third one will be this one this will be your fa C okay This is FAB so this is FAC and this angle you when you draw it it will be 120 degree Now this is again the angle between FAB and FAC is 30 degree you can see here this is also 30 degree or this angle between AB and AC is 30 now we will use law of sine law of sine for finding if you what law of sine says that if we take p divided by sine of 30 it will be equal to fab divided by 120 or fac divided by sine of 30 so i will write p divided by sine of 30 degree will be equal to fab over sin 120 degree or it will be also equal to fac over sin of 30 degree if you equate these two so these two if i write it p divided by sin of 30 degree is equal to fab over sin of 120 degree so from here you will get p will be equal to fab 
into sine of 30 divided by sine of 120 degree and from here you will get this p will be equal to 0 0.57735 times f a b so this is one formula for p clear now if you take these two equate these two so we will get p over sine of 30 will be equal to f a c over sine of 30 degree so from here you will get p is equal to f a c into sine of 30 degree divided by sine of 30 degree which will give you p is equal to f a c we are interested to find out p and here the quest answers will start from here because we are uh, interested to find out p so we have the bearing stress in this members sharing stress in this pin and bearing stress in this uh, brackets so we will take f a b as in our calculation so we'll first find f a b so what we will do is that first it is given that every sharing stress in pins so our criteria will be first if sharing stress in pin in pin at b controls so if we take the sharing stress in pin b so what will be the value of uh, f a b so we know that sharing stress is equal to sharing force per unit area so you can say you can see that here this pin will be share over here as as well over here so there are two double due to double double sharing double share of the pin of pin we will take 2a so sharing stress is equal to force divided by 2a because due to double shares so sharing stress is given as 120 megapascal clear so an area of pin so area of pin is equal to pi by 4 d square area d diameter is given as 10 millimeter which is 0 0.010 meter square so from here you will get 78.54 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter this is the area so we are interested to find out f so f will be f a b because in pin f a b uh, force is acting so f a b will be equal to shares multiplied by two times area sharing stress is 120 megapascal so 120 multiply by 10 to the power 6 multiply by 2 multiply by this area which is 78.54 into 10 to the power minus 6 so you will get f a b will be equal to 18.850 into 10 to the power 3 newton so this is the force that is produced in the pin due to the sharing stress of 120 mega pascal now what we will we will use another criteria and in another criteria it is given if bearing stress in member a b controls so what we will do is that we have we have given the bearing stress in this member a b which is 90 mega pascal so you can see here that this member will have this hole in which this pin will pass so the bearing area will be a b will be equal to diameter into its thickness diameter is the diameter of this pin will be the diameter of hole in this rod and thickness is given as 16 millimeter so we will write bearing stress bearing stress is equal to f a b divided by a b so f a b we are interested to find out f a b so f a b in will be equal to bearing into a b so bearing stress is 90 mega pascal 90 to test power 6 into a b is d into t 
so diameter is 0 0.01 and thickness is given as 16 millimeter okay 16 millimeter which is 0 0.016 so from here you will get fab will be equal to uh, 14.40 into 10 raised to power 3 newton so this is the force that is due to bearing stress in member a b now the third criteria which i will write over here is i will draw a line if bearing stress bearing if bearing stress in bracket control in bracket controls controls so we know that bearing stress is equal to force divided by bearing area so you can see that we have two bracket one is this one another one is this one so area two times area so fb divided by two times ab and ab you can see that ab is equal to diameter of hole into its thickness so thickness of this is 12 this thickness is 12 and this diameter is 10 millimeter okay so what we will write is that d into t so 2 uh, d is 0 0.01 and thickness is 0 0.012 so if you put the values over here let me solve it over here so bearing stress will be equal to fab because bearing stress is due to this fab so fab will be equal to 2 into sigma b into ab so you can just put the values of sigma b so fab will be equal to 2 times sigma is 19 to 10 to power 6 and ab is 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.01 2. when you solve this you will get fab will be equal to 21.6 into 10 to the power 3 newton now this is the force that is produced in brackets clear so you have three forces the first one is this one the second one is this one and third one is this one that is calculated based on different criteria here it, the criteria was shear stress here the uh, bearing stress in member a b and here the bearing stress in the bracket so what we will do is that we will choose we have to choose one of this so we will choose the smallest force f a b so smallest will be this one 14.40 because it will be safer always we will choose the smallest force so that our design will remain safer now this is the force we have selected and we know that from this equation that P is equal to 0 0.57735 times FAB. So you can just multiply 0 0.57735 multiply by 14.40 into 10 to the power 3. So you will get the value of P comes out to be 8.31 into 10 to the power 3 newton or you can say p is equal to 8.31 kilo newton so this is the largest amount of force which is safer and that can be applied at point a at this point and that was all about this problem 1.25 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching and supporting me